Hello! So I'm doing a weight goals check-in on the 27th of January. I have five days left before my February goal, February 1st goal of 295, which would be eight pounds from 303 to 295. And I have to report that I'm at 292 as of today. So I've lost an extra three pounds. I know that there will be peaks and valleys, times when I hit a plateau, but so far, the plan is working. I hope that whatever you are doing out there to take care of your human body, you are also having great success. And now, on with the show. In a few weeks, I'll be taking off on a camping trip to Northern California. But this week, I wanted to do a review show to look at some of the highlights from the 62 shows we've done thus far. Let's start off with number one, where I escaped from Area 51 and had to change my appearance and go from there. Greetings, Google Gs. I am 100 miles from my new home base, and I stumbled upon this wonderful place that I believe may have the proper energy to contact my ship. It's called Stonehenge 2. Stonehenge 2. I do wonder if it has the proper alchemy to help me contact my ship. Here we are fans, we've arrived in Florida and now we are here to pick up my new runaway camper. I'm so excited. I have traveled 145 million light years from planet Guguji to planet Earth. Backing a trailer into a parking space was much harder. It took me 15 minutes. dinosaur stuff. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, amazing. There it is. And another millions of years ago. I'm so excited because on the trail here, I have met two fellow travelers from planet Kukuchi. And here they are, Snorg and Fjörg. Welcome wow. to planet Earth. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Hello. Hello. I'm from planet Guguji. I come in peace. Wait one moment. I will, I will get, yes. You have a question. Well, I'll tell you little buddy. At high noon, he'll be hung from that there hangman's noose. Or my name's not Reggie McGillicuddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. oh, now it's into my thumb. How do you get rid of it? Prickly son of a gun. I believe there's going to be a wonderful view of these mesas, about four of them in a row. 
jutting out uh, in a sort of a staggered tableau. Here they are. So here is the Prada store, which is a sculpture really, and not an actual store. It's just down in the middle of nowhere here. So there's Mexico right there. That's the United States. And I'm somewhere in the middle. I feel like I've uh, accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to be in the middle of a canyon with water in the middle, and that's where I am. Today we're going to look at some art here in Roswell, New Mexico. It would be absurd to jump start a, an alien spaceship with a human automobile battery. It is absurd. So that is the humor. I think I am understanding. It looks like Timo loves somebody or is loved. But then someone stepped in the middle of it, as if to say, I step on your love, Timo. And then, of course, Timo's love will be lost in the wind very soon. That's, that's big. Wow. I love the architecture for this hotel. If you look closely, you can see people meditating here on the lower portion of the rock, communing with the vortex. So this is one of the most spectacular views of the day, I think, because of uh, several things. Uh, this is Mor Moron Point, um, or perhaps it's Moran Point. Look how pretty. Whew. I think we're getting close. And there it is. I've made it. That's the parking spot. So here we come to the trickiest part yet. It's not that tricky, but it's probably the narrowest. I'm so parched. <laughs> Bring two big bottles of water, not one. This naturally formed bend is amazingly 270 degrees. And hoodoos. Hoodoo. 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 My favorite new hoodoo. word. Hoodoo. Bryce Canyon has the highest concentration of hoodoos. Just every corner you turn, it's just like a different rock with a different story. It's amazing. <laughs> ah, yes, there's that portal. <laughs> she just said it was right around the corner. There must be something to see up there. Yep. <laughs> Watch your step. Note the dark and light grays, the gray-blue bands, and also uh, a sort of a brown-peach band. It's a short hike out to the starting point before you descend into the Badlands. I just got a Western photo taken by Heather at the old-time photo place. So what this spot will not have is, it will not have a toilet or a shower. It will not have electricity or water. I have water that I brought. I have a battery that will act as electricity. There's a little camper. Just beautiful. The way the sun is hitting them right now is particularly nice. It's amazing, huh? It's a this being looks like he could be related to us Kagugians. 
though we've had tens of thousands more years to evolve. Yum. There are few foods better on this earth than lobster. Richard, there seems to be a very distinct uh, smell in the air. I'm not sure I can quite identify it. Uh, probably not a marijuana. Ah, marijuana. On Guguji, we have the brain feed, which is an entire civilization of information tapped into your mind. Here on Earth, you have the phone, which is almost the same thing. Count calories to condition my mind. Eat more whole, unprocessed foods. Exercise. Walk. I'm so glad I decided to get healthier in 2022. Yeah! Well, I hope you enjoyed the review show. I'll see you next week. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Get out of here to where the weather